Bonjourno, hope you're all well. This is a quick video from Adventures in Internet Marketing and in this one I'm going to look at a couple of tools which you can use to basically do a great deal of very good, very accurate market research and find out exactly who your market is and who the market of your competitors' sites are as well within the same niche or the same market and then be able to use that information to obviously deliver you know the best possible experience to those people. So the first one is this site that you can see right here. It's called Quantcast and Quantcast is basically a way of quantifying uh, the data that your site gets. So in this case you've got uh, the ability here to go down to this uh, address bar or search bar right here and just type in the name of a you know a company or whatever that's in your market. Now just to give you an example let's say uh, let's say that I was in the the weight loss market okay and in particular I was kind of in the market or the niche I should say of people who want to lose weight on their stomach particularly. So kind of the market leader on that in terms of um, let's just put that there, truthaboutabs.com. The market leader in terms of that particular niche is the site truthaboutabs.com. Certainly in the world of, you know, online marketing, uh, in the world of, you know, digital products. I'm sure there's others that are out there, you know, actual paperback books, for example, things like um, Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Body. You know, I'm sure all of those uh, are, uh, you know, big, big market leaders as well. But this one's certainly for the kind of products that I would be potentially creating. Now, this is um, a way in which I can go and check the stats on that site. So I can see the type of people, for example, or the number of people, first of all, um, who are visiting that site, uh, which is very, very interesting indeed. Uh, you can see there was a huge rise between kind of the end of December and the start of January, um, a, a huge amount of visits per month. So, uh, you know, whatever he changed uh, on that site, um, I say he, it's, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the guy now, uh, Truth About Abs, Mike Geary, that's the one, uh, a guy called Mike Geary. So, you know, whatever Mike did between here and here has obviously worked. So it'd be worth sort of keeping an eye on, you know, his site to see what was going on. If this was my market, obviously it's not, but if it was, I'd be looking at that. Uh, you can see it says that this reaches approximately uh, 57,307 US monthly people. That's just in the US. And uh, the typical visitor subscribes to this old house, reads Forbes, and visits realage.com. This is all very interesting because I can find out uh, a lot about the people who you know visit the site by going to look at some of these places that the visitor the typical visitor would subscribe to also if I scroll down a bit further here's the really crucial bit I can see things like the um, demographics so here where it says male and female uh, the ages of those people you can see whether they're sort of uh, underrepresented or overrepresented compared to the internet average and the internet average is depicted by that little dotted line down the middle and obviously it's underrepresented here for male Males and overrepresented females. Um, you can see the age range 18 to 24, quite popular, um, kind of overrepresented just a little bit with them. Same with 35 to, 30, to 44, and then uh, very kind of overrepresented, if you like, with the age group sort of 45 to 65 plus. And in most cases, the majority of people don't have children. Again, this is all really interesting because, you know, you can market to people in a way that is specific to them. And of course, the more specific you can make it, the more likely you are to engage with people. You know, if I say to you that you're, you know, uh, you can make your life a lot better and it will be easier for you if you buy my products because that way your children will be, uh, you know, less of a pain in the ass to you, whatever, you know, whatever it might be. Um, if you don't have children, then that message doesn't get to you and it's completely irrelevant because you just don't feel like it's you that, that I'm talking to. Whereas if the majority of people in this case, you know, don't have children, well then you can talk to them from a point of view or from a standpoint of not having children. Um, if you can talk to them from a point of view of, uh, you know, in this case, being of a certain age, there's certain references that people who are 18 to 24 will get that people who are 25 to 34 won't get because there's, you know, about a 10 year difference between uh, many of those people same is true here you know people who are 65 plus or, or even sort of 45 to 65 plus are going to have very different references to people who are 18 to 24 so again it's all about just you know targeting your market as best you possibly can and you know being as specific so you could if you wanted to after seeing this you know choose to target the same group and again this gives you a very good idea of 
you know exactly who is using uh, this site which is one of your competitors now you can also do this for your own site and you can get quantified which is uh, the ability to actually sign up for an account at Quantcast and have Quantcast actually uh, go and analyze your site and find out all this information for you which again is invaluable now it does mean that this information is then available to everyone else as well but you know that's that's the case with a lot of information on the internet already so you know this is something you can do um, you know and I would suggest that you do do that for your own site uh, is go and get quantified now the ability here you've also got is to go and check uh, the things like this top uh, traffic sources uh, here as well which again is very useful you've also got the ability if I go a bit further down uh, just here to see what the audience also likes so things like this so uh, Forbes Glamour um, SteadyHealth.com uh, PayPal Forbes I think I've mentioned that already uh, The Motley Fool that's quite interesting so you know lots of people interested in you know making money for themselves and alternative forms of income interested in very sort of high-end magazines uh, you know what other things oh and about health obviously as well so you know those are things that we can target very specifically to our audience and we can target the same people um, we can also find out as I say just by getting quantified we can find out the same details about our own site as well so this is really good for you know market research and seeing who are the kind of people who are already using the very popular sites online now for the smaller sites uh, you won't be able to get this kind of information because if the site isn't quantified and it's not doing huge amounts of traffic then Quantcast just won't give you any data for it because it won't have done the research it will only do the research on sites that are quantified so um, that gives you a really good idea of you know the number of people that you're reaching and it's just another tool that you've got in your arsenal really to find out all the, the information you want about your market so go ahead and use Quantcast also you can do the same thing just very briefly you can do the same thing with Alexa as well and this is almost exactly the same principle but you can do a few different things so let's do the same search uh, truthaboutabs.com again we'll search on that and we'll get the details just here uh, again we can see where this ranks in terms of the US uh, how many sites link to it we can see things like the search analytics uh, what people are searching for to get there we've got things uh, like the audience demographics again just there this one also shows you the browsing location which is very interesting because you can target it again to people whether they are more likely to be at home or more likely to be at school or at work in this case they're much more likely to be browsing from home than they are from school or work um, and they uh, oh that's interesting actually this one says that most people have children uh, who are using uh, Truth About Abs as opposed to the other one which said that they mostly didn't. That's quite interesting. Um, there's also the majority female, that's what we've already seen. Um, no college, some college are the people who are more likely to be using the site. And again, demographics wise, the 45 to 65 age group um, are the overrepresented ones. So those are the ones that you'd really be targeting. Uh, although in the other one, uh, in Quantcast, this age group here was slightly overrepresented as well so it's you know you can see there's a few slight discrepancies but overall they do generally match up and again we can see more in terms of the contact info for the site uh, you can see Mike Geary at hotmail.com you can see uh, there's related links these are other sites again which are related to this particular one so truth about abs uh, Vince Del Monte fitness.com Vince Del Monte is quite a well-known name in that industry um, lose fat gain muscle uh, lose belly fat uh, there's a penis enlargement one there there's a hemorrhoids cure so you know all of these flat abs review so if you're in that market you know you can see that there are sites that are related there there's what one two three uh, four five sites there that are directly related to losing weight and you know losing fat gaining muscle that sort of thing so again you can go through here go to all of those sites as well and search those and find out what the demographics are for those and you'll build up a good picture of your market and those are then the people that you need to target with your marketing uh, with the blog posts that you write with the sales letters you write everything so I hope that's useful for you and uh, yeah that gives you a good idea of how to do really killer market research and uh, if you get the opportunity Opportunity, uh, and the opportunity is there for you always go and get quantified uh, using Quantcast that's it uh, take care I hope you enjoyed this uh, leave me a comment below as always and if you are watching this on YouTube then please feel free to hit the button uh, above this uh, this video which says subscribe and uh, I'll keep you up to date with all of the uh, various uh, cool videos and tools and things that I stumble across alright so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video